Hi folks, it's Beano Black here, and I apologize about the audio, but I think we got it fixed. Okay, here's 2005 YU55. It looks like we're pretty safe, folks. Now, I finally got the player to work, so let's zoom in and zoom out. And play with this a little bit. Now, we're sitting on October 12th, so this is a first for me, so let's see what we got. I'm gonna play with it and record it for you. Hang on. Alright, here we go. So we get pretty close, and it's up and down. So let's go back a little bit. Now remember, I can't bring up, I'll show you what we can, can't bring up. What we can't bring up because it'll me mess it up is we'll bring if I was to try to bring up the asteroid 208 TC3 that will be coming by at the same time that 2005 here comes on the November 18th. Okay, let's go back. We're back in 2005 up right now. All right. What you need to remember is, let's zoom in. Now, we're going to get a little bit better look on this view here because what I'm going to do is try to zoom in with Earth and see how close the satellites are going to be. Now, there's the moon. And let me play with it, and I'll be back with the recording in a second. Okay, folks, here we are on October 27th, 2011, and we have you see there. Now let's see if we can go back in time a little bit. Alright, so there's the 29th. Let's get us up to the 4th here. And then we'll try to zoom out. Okay, so that's 6489 Golovecka. Alright. And there is the first. And we're going to switch over to Earth here. But folks, that's what the deal is. You have to shift to here. You have to shift all constantly. Okay. So we have a lot of stuff that's going to be around. Tons of satellites. Tons of objects. So let me get Earth back up. Alright. We've got the timer going, folks. So things are moving. Okay. Those are satellites. Okay, and now we're also going to zoom out and see if we can pick up Now I mean to do dialogue on everything. You just have to play with it and also go play with it to see all the objects, folks. Now let me see if I can zoom. So now, folks, you can see on the 15th that we have tons of satellites that are going to be coming in and getting a look at this. Tons of satellites that are going to be coming in. And let me bring them back. See all these satellites coming in? Everybody's going to come in and get a little view. Now, internationally, who is going to make sure that they, I mean, you know, who's going to make a mistake is what's, what's, what's a, a lot of wondering. All right. There's the sun over there, folks. Okay. The super giants are over there also. That's where we need to hopefully stay away from is the super giants. All right. So So folks uh, to be aware of what is in an asteroid is tons of material in an asteroid, okay? And it's going to be heck of close with all the satellites and all the objects. And I will also bring up here in a minute, you can watch the dates and the time there. We're all the way back in July there. 
here's the last month right there pretty much and then we have November it's action so this whole asteroid folks and the asteroid yes and they told us on Thursday that there's no asteroid close well yes one eye you is a long ways away but it's a big asteroid and on the inner between the asteroid and us and Earth, we have a lot of objects from the Big Bang era coming by. So, the next few months, we have a lot of activity. I.e., close. October has lots of close action. So, let me bring up the other one. We'll bring up another one. Alright folks, and like I say, you need to try to play with it yourself and see if you can get uh, the asteroid to come in. 208 TC3, which will basically be the red line. Okay. And also the other basically big ass boulder that'll be coming by that is also over here. Now, not to let this screw up, we'll leave the moon here and we will move the time ahead and see if we can get the comet to come in, which will be the comet 2005 T8, I believe, no, October 18th. And we'll see if they show it on this chart. There's the move. Now see how it jumps? They do not want to let us see how close and what kind of view it looks like with this coming in. Because it jumps all over the place. And yes, I know I got the speed set, but now let's go. Now, I'll get back to the 18th. I'm going to pause and come back. Uh, here we go with the big crowd here, so let's see what we can zoom in on here. We do have 2005 YU-55 right there. Let's fly in and see what we got for uh, Earth there. First, we'll move the clock ahead. Uh, I thought I'd give you a quick example of what 2012 has in for us, folks. Uh, 3200 Pathian. Uh, we'll get some real good views from stereo ahead in the future on that. And uh, also, it's going to get real crowded in 2012, folks. So, as you can see, we have lots of movement in 2012. Lots of objects, lots of objects, lots of objects. All right, as we move in on 2005. YU-55 here. You can see Earth right there. And that's about as close as it's going to get. And you can see the distance there. But it is going to be close. Now this is the red that I keep on telling you all the time to watch for because that's the one we always are concerned with. That's the big... The, not just Mars. Okay, on here it's showing Mars. The one I originally showed you will show you that is the constant of asteroid... 208 TC3, folks. Alright, so let's move in here on YU55 and Earth. See if we can get in there. Might even be able to pull the full screen, maybe, here. Pull up a different view. Here we got 2005 YU55, very close to Earth. There's Earth. And we'll see if we can zoom in here. And as you see, we can't, we get out. And I'll see if we can get us to come back in a lot. But I think that's as far as we can go. So as you can see, we're very close, because even the Earth name is uh, covering up on 2005 YU-55. So let's take another look. Let's see if we can twist around in here.
here we got us going backwards. We just went past the 16th. Now I got to get us going forward again. Okay, so, so folks, you're going to be looking right here. We got Earth, and there you've got a uh, little spot there is Hawaii 55. We have an interesting angle here. Let's watch it as I speed the clock up. And folks, as of Dutch's video with the uh, solar flares uh, that I have showed you and lots of people in the comet hitting the sun and lots of comets hitting the sun, you can imagine the space weather that's out there, folks, with all this crowded. And there we've got 2005 and then we have Earth. So if you watch on here, we will be able to see Earth. Uh, there's a little blue speck there, and there is 2005, so keep an eye right there. Let me hit the clock. We're on the 15th. I speed it up a little bit. And we'll see what kind of action we get here. And now Earth is a little blue spot on the third O. Now the second O, and then now you see the little blue spot coming down. And there we get very close. Now, you tell me, folks. Now, I didn't say the H word, okay? But it sure looks darn close, folks. And we've got a good example right here, folks, of uh, 2005 U55. And we don't even see Earth. And we're on the 18th. Okay. And that's no... F I mean, this is their animation. And then we have 1620... Right there. Out the back door. So I'm going to back it up a bit and see if we can get Earth to pop in there in that view at all. So right on this view, we're not even showing Earth being there. So, I mean, that's a little goofy. So, uh, we should be able to try to see if I can get Earth in that view. Alright, folks, I got a happy view for you. We got 2005 YU55 that are at a nice angle out there away from us and Moon. Let's see if we can not lose it. Well, there, there we go. So, we know Earth and Moon's over there. Let's watch 2005 as we speed it up here a little bit. So I'm glad to see we can show some separation here, folks. So... Let's see if we can get this to play. Speed this up. Okay, so let's go to and watch the clock, folks. In 2005, it's coming down from the top. So we have angle here, folks. I'm not sure the IU, but we will be in alignment with uh, 2005 YU55 and other objects. Okay, so don't let this uncrowded view discern you here. Okay, now I'm going to back it up a little bit. So there is the alignment on um, the 9th, it looks like. It pops in. So, this is very interesting. So, out for now, folks. Watch this come through real fast. So, there's lots of stuff, folks. Kepler, Hather.